Hi, I'm Becca Parks, and I'm a STEM education specialist, a science, technology, engineering, and math specialist at the Juno Economic Development Council. And I work for a program called STEM AK. We do STEM education outreach for K-12 statewide. It's a long-term investment in the things that we think are really going to help develop a strong economy and a uh, strong and capable population across the state. The Charles Lee's Middle School from uh, Metlakatla. Metlakatla people all the way up from Metlakatla. Nice. Thanks for coming in, you guys. This is the uh, Lego League competition where they, the teams build a robot and attempt to perform certain missions on this field table for points. And they have two and a half minutes to try to get as many points as they can. And then there's other components of the, of the program as well, like a research project component, uh, teamwork challenge. There's a robot design where you're explaining to judges what, how, how you built your robot and what you, why you decided to do what you wanted to do. All right, let's just try this one more time. Different mission, same setup. Which one is this? Oh, All right, my work. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> Which one is this? Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Oh, baby. That's what that we want to do. A really important part of First Lego League is the real world theme and the project that changes every year. So front and center is the robot. The kids love the robot. Our volunteers love the robot and the Legos. But we also get kids involved with solving a real world problem with a theme that changes every year. It's that place-based learning, that local engagement that really teaches kids how to be part of a community and again, builds the program and helps reach out to new adults that can come in and mentor and be part of these kids' lives. We're, do we're doing the yellow yeah. truck. What's it have to do? Wait, wait. Well, you have That's to bring the truck to base. Lift it up. I think it's going to be this time. Oh, yeah. Ah, push it, it too pushes forward. it. We're going to program it so there's a move block that makes it go forward and it's making it go forward too much. So first, for inspiration and recognition of science and technology, which is this larger nonprofit that started First Lego League, they wanted to inspire, recognize science and technology to take a book from the things that the U.S. does really well. Hollywood, professional sports, and apply that to education and specifically STEM education. So they said, well, what, is, what do sports do really well? Well, we compete like crazy. We raise young athletes that want to win, that know how to train for that, know the dedication that it's, that's involved. But we don't want cutthroat sports. We want everybody to be doing as well as possible. And that's where they came up with this idea of gracious professionalism. Gracious professionalism, gracious professionalism is trying to understand somebody, kindness, gentleness, and self-control of what you do, what you say, and um, just being the best you can. One, let go, and here they go. And push the truck, look at the toe of that truck. The gun in the front end looks good so far. That's exciting. The truck comes in with all the fresh produce. Good job. Well scored, high scoring affair. We had two NXT programs. We had NXT and Robolab. And some people on our team wanted to use NXT, but we decided to use Robolab. Do you do a lot of the programming? Uh, yeah, and me and my sister. They're going to try to go back to base. They try to get their opponents up. They unfortunately just missed that. Super Robo Ravens go out and look like they're trying to get into the bacteria in there. Um, sure. We have a touch sensor, which we use as a button, and we also use a light sensor. And we also have a stall sensor, which is inside the code, which basically tells how if the robot is banging against the wall or something, and the wall's like, I mean, the ro motor has too much stress on it, it'll stop and like continue working on the mission. 
And one of the great things is how many different skills are brought in. So you have kids that'll get really into the computer programming and the logic sequences that go into how they're going to solve those problems. And then kids that are really good at building with Legos that just see it and get it. Their spatial reasoning is way beyond a lot of those math whizzes. Um, and having them work together and realize how well their strengths play together and that they can learn from the other people and become really good at the other aspects of the program is great to watch. Sometimes you know how people get annoyed with each other. Um, we try to be nice to each other, we try to respect each other, and we try to say this is what bothers me. We actually wrote a, on a board notes that said this is what bothers this person, please don't do it. And so every time someone would break those rules, we would say gracious professionalism. Well, the, the nice thing is I love my job. I get to spend a big part of my time hanging out with kids that are happy, that are motivated, that love what they're doing, and that are doing things that their parents, their teachers, and everybody in the community is so proud of. Best thing to do is to go and experience it. I, I can't even convey how much fun it is to see those kids just be so proud of what they've done.